Come. This way. This way. Hey, this is Janet Manuel Pillai for the Noble Sage Art Gallery. Hope you're doing well today. I'm going to close the store. Um, we are going to be looking at this painting here by Priya Barrett, and it's called The Great Indian Bustard, and that is the name of the bird that's in it. But before I talk about it, I want to just tell you a little bit about Priya. She is a 32-year-old artist who I worked, I've worked with now on, I think, two shows. Uh, one was a big group show and the other where I spotlighted her work for the first time. That went very well. And so we, I had another uh, show with her recently yeah, with the artist from yesterday's Insight, which was Anoma and Adivira Pandian, the abstract artist. And we did a uh, show, a three-person show, and this was one of the works from that exhibition. Priya is one of the youngest artists, perhaps, that I've ever worked with. Um, she is 32, um, and she is quite different. I mean, as you'd expect, working with someone who's who's younger, um, she has a, a, a totally different energy to um, the artists in that exhibition and the other artists in my collection. Um, she's very switched on, she's very proactive, societally minded, um, uh, in her own way, kind of political and um, very kind of dedicated to a positive world today. So she kind of represents, in my mind, the kind of young generation and how my gallery responds to that um, uh, through her work. I don't have, I, I think I only have a few artists in their thirties and she's certainly the youngest. Um, her work, the works that I've sourced from her have all been, and, and uh, all the works I've seen of hers have all had animals in them in different ways. She uses animals because they are kind of, um, animals are kind of mirrors when you see them, when you hear about them in stories and fables and proverbial tales, animals are kind of mirrors to human, uh, kind of human qualities or human characteristics. So, you know, all you have to think about is, um, you know, all these kind of uh, Hans Christian Andersen kind of tales and uh, where animals are at the forefront and they're, they're discovering traits or characteristics about themselves that are relevant to us as a human reader of the story. And so for her, um, animals are a way of um, getting the viewer to think about something about their lives, think about, some, um, uh, about the way they act and the way that they um, orchestrate themselves in today's world. So let's use this as an example, for example. This is a, a painting, as I said, called The Great Indian Bustard. It's a painting of a bird um, that is the Great Indian Bustard, which is an Indian bird, as you would expect. Um, it has the, it was a very, very prominent, well-known bird in India, and it's uh, it called, and it, because it was so popular that it was going to be tipped to become the national bird of India. So it was kind of, as birds go, it was right in the forefront um, of popularity in India and was seen as such. Um, and then this bird, um, because of its name, Bustard, B-U-S-T-A-R-D, and the closeness of that word to Bastard, um, it got dropped. It basically got dropped from popularity, got dropped from that the, as a runner, uh, runner to be the national bird of India, it got dropped in favour of the peacock, the Indian peacock. And so this bird, which was kind of tipped for a kind of human greatness, was dropped at the wayside because of a similarity, a letter similarity in its name to a human word for something that is outcasted uh, or that is um, seen as um, uh, on the periphery of, of, of what is good and right and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So there was some irony there in the story that, um, uh, that was of interest to Priya and why she made it the kind of the main, the, uh, like a portrait of this bird. Um, so this instead what was chosen was the peacock and oh, anyone who knows the peacock knows that it's it's kind of a, a symbolic bird for it's kind of known for its feathers for its panache and its kind of exuberance and uh, you know kind of its vibrant color so a, a choice was made for this kind of 
for the pizzazz of the peacock over the, the truth of the popularity of the great bustard, uh, the great Indian bustard. So these are all aspects that, that figure into this. Now, the sad truth and what Priya told me was that the, the great Indian bustard, from being right in the centre of it to be the national bird of India, is now virtually extinct. It is becoming a rarer and rarer bird in India to find. And so it's fallen by the side. And, in, and we all know the peacock, uh, you know, because that's peacocks right in our consciousness for, in terms of India. But this bird has fallen by the wayside. So in a simple move, Priya has taken this bird and has made it the subject of, of, of her portraiture. Um, the subject of interest, the subject of our focus, and has told us about a kind of a, a, like a kind of a human, the way that humanity decide at a whim what species is going to be living on and what species is not, and how humanity is swayed by colour and by the kind of the the cockiness of the uh, of the peacock. Um, and, and how we forget so easily about these other birds and other species. And that is a key concern for Priya, the way that species are being annihilated on the planet um, at an incredible rate. And she, you can see in other works, for example, there's a piece called The Tiger, where she draws attention to the way the tigers are being wiped out uh, from the planet. So this is a work that, as you can see, even though it looks childish, and uh, naive in style, as if, you know, deliberately childlike. It doesn't look detailed, it's not detailed, it's all about colour, it's all about movement. The eye is made not to give the sense of humanity or anything like that. It seems quite kind of gormless as a, a, to look at. It's reflecting back at us a story by just simply being here that is important to the way we see ourselves. And that, in a nutshell, is what Priya's work is all about. It's about stopping you dead in your tracks, um, making you look at a work that looks kind of simple and making you think again about what, you know, what actually is really simple about it. A work like this has, uh, surprisingly, works like, you know, technique like this, this technique that looks childish and naive, like the word is naive, really, um, works like this that have this naivest style constantly um, are difficult for people to um, to understand. They feel like the classic thing that I hear all the time is, "Oh, um, it looks like it's done by a child," or "It looks childish," or you know, it it sends them in a direction that makes them feel like it's it question the artistic quality of it. Um, Interestingly, where you get minimal works, works that are just like tiny dots and very abstract, people sometimes find that a little bit easier because they're used to um, kind of minimal life, minim, not minimal, minimalist lifestyle, like Ikea, kind of clean furniture, that kind of thing. So when they get something like this, um, it's quite a shock to people. And I like that. This is exactly why I like Priya's work, because her work is a shock it's a it's kind of it hijacks you a little bit and makes you have to deal with this feeling of um w w ask the questions what's artistic about it is it the 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 knowledge of this bird and the story that is connected with it and add that to the color and then you start to enjoy the color you start to enjoy the way the colors merge and the simplicity of it which is actually quite hard for some people so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this is Priya Barrett, the great Indian bustard. We'll be looking at other works from her over the coming days. Please share this video. I would love more people to be watching the, video, the videos I'm doing every day at five o'clock. Every weekday at five o'clock I'm here looking at one work, normally in this spot because it's excellent light. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Meet me again tomorrow at five.